Now, before starting the video, I would like to talk about the sponsor of this video, KeysFan. KeysFan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in an easy way you can activate software such as Windows and Microsoft Office in a fast and reliable way. With these keys that are 100% official and suitable for online activation. Moreover, they offer lifetime after sales support in addition to 24 seven customer support. Don't miss Keys Fan Mega Discount. If you are interested, you can check the links in the description. Add the product you need to your cart and catch 50% discount for Windows Series with RTG 50 and 62% discount for Microsoft Office and bundle with RTG 62. Don't forget to check the descriptions for details. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to test RPCS3 on WinLater emulator with the latest 7.1 update. But before starting the video, if you are new to here, make sure you to subscribe our channel. All right guys, in this update they added some features. They improved direct input X input stability, added startup selection in container, wine debug and some bug fixes. Anyways, download and install update. All right, it's updated to 7.1. Okay now, go to settings. Here set box 6486 versions to latest. Set both presets to compatibility. Here they added wine debug and logs. It's basically used to identify or remove errors in during wine execution. And there is a box 6486 logs and these are not necessary. Now get back, go to container. All these settings are same as usual as shown in our recent videos. All right, leave these settings as default, no need to change them. All right now, now here in advanced set both presets to compatibility. Here there is a new option, startup selection. There are a normal to load all services and essential options to load only required services. So select this one to get more memory free. All right, create container. Now start the container. And there we go. Okay, on settings, go to wine configuration. Set version to Windows 10, as it's recommended for our RPCS3 emulator. Here I will install the required driver for emulator. All right now, go and open RPCS3 emulator. Uh, okay, I got an update, so install update. Here I already compiled PS3 firmware as shown in the last video. Okay, now head over to configuration in CPU section. Make sure to enable SPU loop detection. Make sure to enable recompiler and PPU decoder, and also an SPU decoder. In GPU section, make sure to enable Vulkan renderer. Here the GPU is selected to Adreno. Set anisotropic value to auto. Shader quality to low. Set resolution to 720p. If you are using a low end, better choose low resolution. Set resolution scale to low. All right, so leave the other settings as usual. Apply and save settings. Now it's time to add some games. Select add games. Go to the path where you placed game folders. Select and open. Let's test some of them. Here I will test another game, all right? Same go to your game folder path. Select the source. Right now, here we are going to test GTA San Andreas. Oh, looks like my phone's heating a bit, but no problem.
Also set affinity value to power cores for better performance. All right, guys, it's loaded. So let's dive in. Remember guys, we are already emulating this thing on an emulator. What do you expect? But yeah, if you set even low resolution, you can even expect more, a lot more FPS. It depends if you are using a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 or Gen 3 or 8 Gen 4 or 5 in future. You can even, uh, even expect more with power hungry titles. go again. Anyways, that's it all for today's video, guys. Hope you liked. Also, subscribe us for more. Thanks for watching. Peace out.